welcome to the arms, wrist, and back wheel challenge video. If you are unsure what the wheel challenge is, you can click the link above and that will take you to the wheel challenge video explaining how it works. Alright, so this video is going to focus on strengthening the arms, the wrists, and then also opening up the back as well as increasing the flexibility in your spine. Okay, so to get started, we are going to begin with some wrist circles. So go ahead and make fists with your hands and then circle them to the outside. We're going to do 10 total, nice and slow, keeping really tight fists. And other direction. Now we have wrist bends. So go ahead and extend your arms straight out in front of you at shoulder level here. I want you to bend the hands down, bending at the wrist here, and then all the way up. Okay, so down and up. Eight more. Ten total. One more, 10, very nice. Okay, now we have eagle pose arms. So go ahead and bring one, well, start with the straight arm here. Go ahead and bend the elbow so we have a nice 90 degree angle here. I want, so this is your left arm that's out in front. Bring your right arm over the left arm, placing the tricep on the bicep. So arms are kind of twisted here and then you really kind of want to press the arms into one another, against one another, and you should feel a nice stretch around the spine and around the wing bones in your back. Okay, so we're going to hold for 10 breaths and then we'll switch to the other side. was 10. Okay, so right arm, right angle, right arm, right angle. I almost said left angle. Okay, bring the left arm up, place it on top of the right arm. Again, press those arms into one another. 10 breaths here. One more, and relax down, super job. Now we have Cobra Pose, so go ahead and lie down on your stomach. From here, go ahead and move the hands down towards the bottoms of the ribs. Pull those elbows into the body. Press the tops of your feet, as well as the fronts of your thighs into the mat. Hip bones also. You're going to press hands into the mat. Okay, keeping the legs down on the ground. I came up a bit too far because my hips came up off of the ground. So if your elbows need to stay bent here, that's totally fine. It's a bit hard on the arms, but hey, that's just going to help us strengthen them and get better at wheel. So you see how my shoulders are close to my ears? You want to bring the shoulders down the back here. Really lengthen that lower back. Open up, reach forwards with the heart. 10 breaths here.
Very nice job. All right, next we have upward dog. So I don't know why I got up. You don't need to. If you did, you're back on your stomach here. And place the hands down by those lower ribs, just like we did for Cobra Pose. You're going to push up, bringing the hips as well as the legs up off the mat. So your knees may still be touching the mat to get them up, press the tops of the feet into the mat, and hold here. Press those hands into the mat firmly to bring the shoulders down and away from the ears. 10 breaths here. Very nice job. All right. So now we're going to take a quick break here. Just give the body a rest, give those arms a rest, and then go ahead and get back on your stomach for bow pose. And you're going to bend the legs, reach back with the hands, grabbing the tops of the feet, and lift the body up. If your back is not yet flexible, and your quads, they might be really tight, you might only be able to do this. You also might not be able to reach your feet, and that's okay. If you have a towel, you can wrap it around the fronts of your feet and then grab on to the edges of the towel and hold like that until you're able to make the hand to foot connection. Okay, so we're gonna hold for 10 breaths. Relax down. Very nice job. Okay. So next we have hang off the bed. It's not really a pose or anything. So go ahead and find your bed. I'll find mine and I'll meet you back in just a second. All right. So what you're going to do is obviously lay down on the bed. You want to put your head at the foot of the bed and slowly scooch down off of the bed. Relax the arms down. I want you to scooch to the edge of the bed until you feel the bottom of your shoulder blades touching kind of the corner of the bed. And hold here. Ten breaths. This is great for really stretching out the back. One more. Very nice job. Take it nice and easy getting up. Don't go too fast because you have a lot of blood in your head right now. All right, I'll meet you back on the mat. All right, two exercises left. We have a downward dog push up. So we're going to begin by getting into downward dog. Get up on your hands and your feet. Straighten the arms as well as the legs. Flatten the back here. Core is tight. Lift your butt up towards the ceiling. You will know that you are doing that when you feel a deeper, intense stretch in your hamstrings. Okay, and drive your heels down towards the mat. If they don't touch, that's totally fine. Don't worry about that at all. One thing I want you to check is your head past your hands or is it behind the hands? If you find that it's out past your fingertips, past your hands here, I would like you to press into the mat, pushing your body back, 
bringing that head closer to your feet. Okay, so down dog, and then a push up, 10 total. So this is going to target the triceps here because our arms, our hands are closer together than they are in a normal push up. So you're going to bend the elbows and come back up, okay? And you're looking straight down at the mat. Inhale down and exhale up. One more. All right, very nice job. Next we have our last exercise, which is Chaturanga Hold. So this is really going to work those arms. It's hard for me. <laughs> that means I need to build the strength in my arms. So if you do as well, this is great for that. Okay, so you're going to get into a plank position to begin with. From here, keep the core tight, back is flat. Make sure that your glutes aren't way up here in the air, but also make sure that you're not just dropping them, okay? We want our core to support us. Nice flat back here. Bend the elbows, arms close to the side, and hold here, 10 breaths. for me I know I really need to work on that if you would like to do more than one set of ten breaths go ahead and do more totally up to you so that wraps up arms wrists and back you will be doing that once a week for the challenge if you have not seen the challenge calendar you can check that out right here if you click on the calendar once you get to the post you will be able to print it Okay, so I hope you all have a great day. Best of luck with the challenge, and I'll see you next time.